Welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting an exciting new project and hopefully the catalyst to many, many room makeovers on this channel in the future and that is the hallway makeover. I've wanted to do this for a while. This space is so simple, quick and easy makeover that I've wanted to do. It's just been finding the time and getting all the resources together in order to start making over the space. So. Let me talk about the hallway at the moment. It is just basically sort of a communal area. It connects the upstairs to the downstairs. So I'm kind of including the stairs in this hallway makeover situation. But it is essentially a long little corridor. Well, I say long, it's a short little corridor. But it's essentially a little short area that connects the bathroom with the primary bedroom and then the second bedroom slash attic room slash dumping ground. We've already done a makeover on this space before. When we first moved in, the space was lime green and as I've spoken many times on this channel, like every single room in this home was just a different colour. So when we first moved in about three years ago, we pretty much painted everything white so that it was sort of that continuous, nice, light, bright airiness that you all know that I love. And we're still gonna keep it white, we're not painting the walls any different color, but the main thing that we wanted to do is utilize the area because it is just literally becoming a dumping ground. So what's the plan for design? I very much am inspired by these like little nooks that I've seen in other makeovers, I've very much been on Pinterest looking for this inspiration. And I love this idea of doing kind of full on built-ins with sort of a bench area. Now with us living in a rental, I can't do the full built-in. It's just not gonna happen, which is fine. So what I'm gonna be doing is sort of a DIY Ikea hack and creating this sort of faux built-in with very minimal damage. I've got a bit of an idea of what I need to do, but I very much this is gonna be a work in progress because I think I know what I need to do, but I kind of need to start building it before I get the full understanding. So you are pretty much going to come on a journey with me building this. We're going to be adding a little bit of colour, connecting the upstairs with the downstairs, which I'll talk about later on in this video. We're also going to be creating a gallery wall within the nook. Uh, it'd be quite a nice little area to have family pictures and just have a little moment and everything like that. And then on the other side of the hallway where there is, it's opposite the bathroom, there's like three images next to the small window that we've got that brings light into the space. Now we have modern prints in there, which don't get me wrong, I loved at the time that I picked them up, but my interior style has very much changed since then. So I'm hoping to be updating the images in there with some faux oil prints, just to bring that vintage modern aspect into the room. Redecorate that little space, get rid of that tray with the candles and put something else in there. Replace the lampshade, as much as the lampshade up there is fine. It's been there for ages and it's not my favourite, so I want to get a bit of design up there. And then finally, fix the banister. So the banister has become very grubby over time and it just needs a refresh of paint. So I've got an idea again to bring sort of downstairs elements upstairs and connect the room. So like I said, it sounds like a lot of work, but the main thing that's gonna be the main like kind of build out is this built in. So once that's done, everything else is just not gonna take that much time at all. So time wise, I am looking at a couple of weekends, a couple of days. Realistically, like I said, the built in is gonna take the longest once that's done. I probably could get everything done in like one or two days. So it's about mid afternoon now on Sunday, hubby is working. So this is why I'm starting it now because I'm all on my own. I can sort of spread out without worrying about people being in the way. So we're gonna get started on the basics. And then like I said, we're gonna be, I have an idea, but we're gonna be winging it basically. That's, that's the approach we're having to this makeover. I think we should stop rambling now and start building some stuff and getting on with some DIYs. So yeah, let's go. Big and heavy. Okay, 
I'm gonna need to change into something like a little bit lighter than denim because it's hot. <laughs> it's a very muggy day. I'm getting very hot, toasty. So I'm gonna change. Oh, it's that building. Oh, I left all my tools downstairs. Oh, yeah. Disheveled mess, and I'm hangry and I'm sleepy, and I think I just need to take a break. Um, I've built the calyxes, they're all done, which is great. I'm having a bit of issues building out the bench, but I've had a bit of breakthrough. This is the second time I'm recording this because I was rambling so much, but in the ramblings, I think I came up with the solution. So, this is what I need to do. First off, I need to go and have a snack because clearly I need food. Secondly, I need to leave this for the day. I'm just not gonna get anything done now. Hubby's gonna be home anytime soon. So let's just kind of stop there. Normally I'd go on into the ends of the night, but I'm giving myself a break. I'll probably pick this up tomorrow afternoon-ish time. Hopefully I should pick you up tomorrow, if not. I mean, it'll be a couple of seconds for you, but I'll let you know how I get on. Anyway, let's go and get me a snack and a coffee. <laughs> been a while since my last confession. <laughs> it's not been a while since I've put up a video but it has been a long time since I've come and checked back in on this makeover. To give you a backstory, I believe the last clips I filmed which was the end of August, beginning of September, we're now in the end of October coming up to Halloween next week. This is where we are in the timeline. I got incredibly busy. So at the time I was filming this makeover, I was also filming a basement makeover and it got to the point where the basement just seemed to like take more priority. So I kind of put this to one side and figured I'll just leave this for a couple of weeks, finish off the basement makeover and then come back to it. During that time, obviously we were in the kind of final bits of setting up the coffee shop and then the coffee shop took over. So I'll link all those renovations down below. The coffee shop is a three part series, so if you're gonna go and watch that, do um, go get yourself a nice cuppa or something like that to get settled in with. <laughs> you're gonna be watching them for a, lot, a while, but I do hope you enjoy them. So yes, it's been a while since I've kind of even addressed the hallway makeover, and during this time, I can't even begin to describe the anxiety I felt in my house because we've had so much of like, mess during the basement renovation and then it got nice and neat but then the coffee shop took over this that, and the other and i am hiding the mess but yeah it's not pretty let me let me give you a sneak peek of what i've been living with <laughs> so this is the mess i've been living with for the last couple of months we've got my lovely coffee there waiting to spur me on with the diys but i mean and i'm trying not to show too much of my bedroom because if you think this is messy, wait until you see the dumping corner where everything else is in. Oh God, it's like trying to focus. See, it's so messy. It's struggling to even know where to look. So yeah, it's not good. It's not good at all. Like it has been driving me crazy, this mess. So I figured now is the time to kind of pick it up and get on it. In reality, with this like makeover, it's not gonna take that long at all. It's just been finding the time and everything like that. But I want to get this done ASAP. 
and part of it is just to get the mess out of the way also part of it is I want to decorate this space for Christmas so we need to get on it so today's plan is just to finish off this bloody seat thing that I want to do I have to go to B&Q anyway for other renovations that are happening um so I'm like if I get into a position where I can crack on and then go and pick up the final bits to do the box bit so that we can actually put a seat on there we shall be done hey presto style so that is the plan is just to fit today is just to finish off the seat so that I can come back to the rest of the bits another day so let's crack on <laughs> days later since I last spoke to you we filled in oh my god I was about to say we filled in all the tiny holes and then I looked up and saw some holes that weren't filled in oh my god I've got so many more to do okay so I have a few more holes to fill I thought I was just gonna have to do a quick like um seam job around here like on the edges just to make sure it all looks really nice and smooth but no 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 few more bits to do so today I'm going to get on with that my other job is to sand the banister down so I've got all the paint waiting for me um some of it we've been using in our coffee shop um to make over that place I will put a link to that series if you're interested there it's some of the paint that I'm going to use in here so I uh, it's just basically today is prepping ready for painting situation so I can crack on with painting probably at the weekend or something like that so sand the banister fill in more tiny holes it's a good thing I've got a real housewives of salt like city episode to keep me entertained because otherwise I'd just be a lot worse than <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a happy bunny right now. So, all right, let's crack on. I'm so mad at me. Why did I not even notice that until now? <laughs> oh, right, let's get filming. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get filming. <laughs> since I last spoke to you guys things got very very busy with the coffee shop opening but now that's all running smoothly I've got a bit more time to dedicate 
to the blog and this makeover, which hopefully should be completed within the next day or two. I finished off all the sealing of everything. I've given everything a sand down after it dried and now I am ready to start painting, which leads me very nicely into one of the gifted products that I received for this makeover from one of my favorite brands, which is Coat Paint. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you won't have heard me rave about this brand before, but if you've watched previous room makeover videos, you would have seen that I have used them in the past, particularly in the kitchen and in the living room makeover. Coat is a luxury paint brand here in the UK that has a curated range of colors. They're absolutely gorgeous and I love nearly every single one of them, including the bright colors. And you know me, I love a neutral, so that's saying something. So Coat is a water-based self-priming paint and it is the easiest paint I have ever used to decorate my home with like I cannot tell you how easy all the jobs have been whenever I've used them. So it was a no-brainer that I was going to use them for this particular project. One because of how easy and gorgeous the paint is but two because I wanted to marry all the rooms together. An interior design trick that's really simple to do to give your home a cohesive look is to have elements of other rooms within different places. So for example the paint I chose which is behind me is Good Intentions which is a gorgeous taupey paint that I've actually used in my kitchen. You will see it on the cabinets but also on the board and batten wall that I've done. So by bringing it up here and giving these a nice taupey colour, not only will it make it look less like flat pack furniture and more custom, but it also ties nicely the kitchen into the hallway space. One thing I'm also going to do is because I have some leftover black David Rose paint uh, from painting our coffee shop with, I'm going to use that on our banister to give it a new lease of life and that is also the black that we use downstairs in the built-in section of the living room. So again this is easy, such simple little design tips that can help give your home a cohesive design look and it's so simple to do. Here is the paint. Thank you so much, Coat, for gifting me this product to use. I am so excited to finally get paint in. I've got two big tubs that I do believe will cover this and the doors that I've got all prepped downstairs ready to go. Like I said, it's self-priming, so you don't necessarily need to use a primer. So I'm just gonna kind of go for it, albeit in my painting leggings and my nice top. I was wearing a cute outfit and then I had to take my jeans off because I didn't want to ruin them. And now I'm thinking I should take this top off. I'm probably not. I'm gonna risk the white tops in my life <laughs> just to look cute. Anywho, we're gonna give this paint job a go. So I've got a laptop ready with Real Housewives because we all know that's my favorite show to watch while painting because I can just put it on in the background and not have to concentrate on it. And I am gonna get started with painting this. you guys today. So it is probably a week later since I last spoke to you and I'm getting a bit fed up. This project, this whole makeover has been taking a lot longer 
than I wanted it to. Obviously extenuating factors are things like obviously the coffee shop took priority so that put this on the back burner, we've been obviously getting ourselves into a routine with the shop etc etc. It's also Christmas time so everything just goes out the window but we and I say we as in my husband and I are just fed up of like coming home to a mess because everything in this house feels chaotic right now. I don't even wanna show you what's behind there. Like that door, my head, is covering a lot of mess back there, which is a lot of stuff that is needed in the hallway. So, Lee is at the shop today. It is Wednesday. This is like my day to do unedited lifestyle stuff. I think I've explained this previously, but today is the day I am gonna get most of the stuff done. I've got all day to do it. I'm gonna power through. My goal and my reward, my reward for doing all of it is to watch the new season of Selling Sunset. So I'm not going to allow myself to watch it until everything's done. So that is my motivation today. Let's do this. <laughs> again but I just need to get my hair off my face it's always a little bit unruly when it's straight you don't need to know that okay so had some lunch and it's time to tackle this bad boy uh, which is the light only light in this little hallway bit and the shade on it is okay but it's the shade that came with the house and I just wanted to add a bit more dimension and everything like that so I've got this shade this gorgeous gorgeous shade that was kindly gifted to me from Lara Du. so thank you so much guys for this and I think this is perfect because not only is it going to create a nice warmth in the room with the dark but it's also going to tie in the black banister the cane elements from the woven baskets it's just going to be that perfect piece that is going to bring everything together so let's get this up there taking this print off the wall I figured this spot would be a really cute spot for a gallery wall I did previously have one in the living room but I took it down pretty quickly after I put it up much to my husband's dismay because I just felt it was very overwhelming in the space and you know it wasn't the right area and I didn't necessarily want to do another gallery wall until it was the right time and I think this area is perfect because it's now framed out with the two bookshelves. It's perfect. So this is where I want to put a couple of prints and stuff like that. I have got multiple different um, sizes and stuff. I would love to be that person that can mix different like vintage frames and stuff, but I am just not that talented. People like uh, McKenna from Exo McKenna, incredibly talented with that. Me, I'm not I kind of it, it messes with my brain a little bit but I figured getting some really nice deep mahogany frames um, would look great here and I'm still playing with the idea of whether or not I'm going to mix in vintage artwork with family photographs or I'm just gonna do all vintage artwork here we're still up in the air hopefully by the time we finish 
we will be there, hopefully. You never know. So something that I wanted to frame the top bit off, just so there was that um, break, was this bad boy. So I purchased this from a company. Let me just get it out for you. There we go. So it is a really cute picture light. That's going to be great because it means that it's going to allow light in the space. I could pretty much just have this on and everything will be nice and glow. I won't always have to have my main light on, etc, etc, make it feel homely. Now, you may be thinking, oh, how are you going to do this? You were just talking about rental apartments and hard wiring, this, that and the other. This is actually battery powered. So you will actually be able to um, put in batteries in here and that's how it will be powered and everything like that. So nobody's on the wiser apart from all 300, nearly 400 of my followers and anyone else that watches this video. So I'm thinking of lining this as soon as I've cleaned the wall. Why is it so dirty up there? <laughs> I'm thinking of lining it roughly along the shelf line. This is where I really wish I had a laser leveler. No, I can't pop out and get one just for the sake of it. <laughs> I wish I could, guys. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I'd be asking for trouble. So I'm gonna put that about there and then that will give me all this to do. So we'll take this off, put this up, and then we can play around with gallery wall layouts and stuff. As you can see behind me, the hallway makeover has been completed. So I'm not gonna tease it any longer. We're gonna do the reveal of this makeover in three, two, one. <laughs> guys that is the hallway makeover completed I am so happy with how it came out it is better than I imagined this space is now my favorite space in my home because it just truly reflects my interior design style like there's no compromises or anything like that it is I mean there's a little compromise because obviously rental but in terms of like the prints and the finishing touches everything like that no compromises is exactly what I wanted and I just love it. It's one of my favorite spaces to be in and it's so homely with all the pictures and the artwork. I, I just love it. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much guys for tuning in to this little makeover video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Next week we'll be decorating this space for Christmas. I'm literally about to change all these pictures up sneak peek of what's coming but yeah we're gonna decorate this space for Christmas so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that episode leave a comment down below let me know what bit of the makeover that you love I will link everything down below if I haven't mentioned this already everything you will see will be linked below as well as a link to my shop my hallway page on the blog and the uh, post that will be going up live tomorrow on Monday morning for you guys so yeah 
Thank you so much guys for tuning in. I do hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Thank you.